Jocelyn, you also got some food options for fans if they are going to the game tonight. So give us some information about that. Yes, Gianna, you know, we were just talking with them a few days ago. They are a couple from here in the Bay Area, and they have combined their culture, their love for their family into a food business. And now they're selling their food here at Chase Center. It's called the Syrup Shop. And we thought it was extremely important to highlight them because to their knowledge, they are the first Filipino food place to be inside a major arena in the U.S. So here, meet JP and Kristen. Even with like each season that we get to be a part of it, we're still kind of like pinching ourselves. Kristen Brillantes and JP Reyes are the co-owners of the Syrup Shop. Here you are. Thank All right, you. Get your drink. And your tofu sisa carbonara. All the hard work they've put into their food truck was practice for this. And like Steph Curry, they heaped up a shot from deep to serve their food inside Chase Center. To get to do that and to like represent our culture in like an arena feels really significant. Typically when somebody asks, we do Filipino American food, uh, drawing inspiration from how we were, how we grew up as Filipino American kids. That's at the core of what they do. When we think about inclusion and what we want to see on tables and plates, you drew a lot of inspiration from the fact that like our, our house was like the family party house and that always meant like whoever our parents also adopted as like being family. It's like important for us to kind of um, normalize and celebrate that there isn't any single way to enjoy Filipino food. It's really about like the intention and the heart. Their menu inside Chase Center is different. They want to serve fans fast, like a fast break. So we have two lumpias this season. There's a traditional Shanghai pork lumpia, and then there's a vegan version of that. And then we also will have a longanisa dirty dog. And then we have curly fries that are topped with um, our house, like aioli, with or yayoli garlic yayoli sauce for the, the, for the yeah. area. Every time we are trying to make a new dish, we're always like, oh, what memory do we miss? Yeah. Or what's like a person that we love to cook for? And also like, how do we make this plant-based? How do we make this gluten-free? Just so yeah. people are, people more people enjoy can enjoy. It. And for them, it's important to represent their culture. It's a long time coming for us to feel like we have a space where we don't have to like fit into like uh, another part of like a subculture. Mm -hmm. We're really, really excited to be able to like welcome literally everybody in. Yeah, so that last part where she was talking about welcoming everyone in. Well, last season they were inside the United Club. Now they're going to be on the sixth floor in a general public area. So they're excited for a lot of people to, you know, try their food. And Amanda, I tried it. It is so good. So now